I think J.R.R. Tolkien would be a fascinating person to meet. Anybody who can write about hobbits and Lord of the Rings characters, anyone who can dream that up has got to be some sort of creative genius. I think I'd like to meet somebody who has that brain. Yeah, you can sell without engagement. I think, you know, you can make a transaction. I think creating a repeatable transaction, driving loyalty without engagement, it, it just doesn't happen. Consumers do not want to have a deep connection with the brand that doesn't, um, that doesn't engage with them. Creativity is absolutely critical to a brand. I, I would liken it to meeting a really interesting person. So if you meet a really interesting person, they're memorable, they stand out, you want to hang out with them more, you'd seek them out. Um, and great creativity does that with consumers. It, it connects with them on an emotional level, a deeper level. It, it stands out for them, it, it sticks in their memory more. Um, and we know empirical evidence shows that great creativity actually drives sales and drives consumer loyalty. I love Latino music, um, so probably something like lively, something, you know, happy on the way home, it's Friday after all, gotta get in the mood for the weekend. I definitely like to be quite heavily involved in the creative process uh, because I enjoy it. It's, it's, it's part of the job when you're, you know, I suppose on client side, you don't, you don't get to live in a creative world as much as you'd like. Um, so when we get the opportunity to work with our agencies, we, we grab at the chance and as, as, as much as I'm allowed, I will be there until they kick me out and tell me that's enough. Definitely Oasis. Oh, Beatles. Bond. Advertising is persuasion and persuasion is an art form. Persuasion isn't science. Persuasion is most definitely art. That is, that is the beauty of, of how you bring somebody's creativity, their, their, um, their innovation, their inspiration into a piece of, a piece of communication, an ad, a, um, a printed piece to, you know, to excite, to inspire, to, to interest consumers. Absolutely, advertising is art. I think, you know, back to the, the days of, of Mad Men and um, DDB, creativity is definitely something that has grown in importance over the years. But I think we now know through evidence that creativity actually works, that creativity can drive sales and can drive loyalty and can engage with consumers. So I think it's always been something that we've strived to, to achieve, but I think now we know that it works and that creativity has been proven to impact consumer loyalty and to impact sales. So I think technically, yes, it's more important because we know that it is a tool now that we can use, but I think it has, it has always had a role. It has always been important. It's just now we know that it works. I think I've learned to trust my instincts over the years, but I do need to post-rationalize with evidence. And I think I trust my instinct a lot more now uh, than I would have when I was, I suppose, early in my career. And you learn, you learn how to, uh, how to tune in with it and, <laughs> and how, to, uh, how to trust it. There was a brand we worked on that we kind of stumbled across this really powerful insight about women and how brands engaged with women and we created a like a, a parody so to speak um, and it absolutely took off like wildfire and we didn't anticipate how well it would have taken off or how well it, it, it did take off and we didn't have the budget and we didn't have the resource or the time to follow it through um, and to really make the most of it and I suppose these were these were in the days where you you really had no idea whether something was going to stick or whether something was going to fall flat in its face um, so yeah in hindsight, it would have been great to have a little bit in reserve to go ahead and uh, optimise the, I suppose, the wave that we had. I think, you know, as a client, if you put the work in, if you write a great brief, you put the effort into, into really understanding what you have to offer as a brand, you inspire your agencies, you work with your agencies, you create the relationship with your agencies to get great work out of them. Yeah, then I think you deserve great work. Don't do all of those things and you probably deserve pretty poor work, yeah.
it is as much about the people you're going to meet as it is about the piece of work that you want them to do for you. So to get great work out of your agency, you need to connect with them. You need to create a rapport. You need to understand how you're going to work with them and how that, that brief is going to get delivered on. It has to be about you and them. It can't just be a one-way a one -way transaction. It can't, it can't just be about asking them to deliver work and, and walking away. You need to be engaged with them um, and your agency becomes an extension of your team. You know, you become a partnership. You regret what you didn't do rather than what you do do. So it's kind of led me to make those brave calls to kind of maybe face the uncertainty and, and be a bit braver in, in decisions I make for my career. So I have made some kind of strange moves, but they've paid off. I think, you know, you, you got to embrace the fear, do things that make you feel uncomfortable and uh, you rarely regret them. Where I work now in Kerry Tasty Nutrition, um, I'm experiencing creativity on a totally different level. Um, so working with chefs and food scientists and baristas and mixologists, I'm seeing creativity in a, in a new light. So people who are trying to, to solve the challenges of, of our food and beverage issues and opportunities. You know, how do you make healthy food taste better? How do you make indulgent food better for you? Working with those people every day and seeing how they work and what they do is incredibly inspiring. We have one guy in particular who is phenomenal in beverage. His, his creativity just blows you away. You know, he, he's created drinks that would just, you know, bring you back to your childhood. So when you drink something, it brings you back to this place and invokes these kind of deeper feelings that, you know, normal beverages don't do. That is just outstanding creativity. So to be, I suppose, in the presence of that and experiencing that, it is, it's pretty exciting. I would have no issue with it. Um, I think it's a massively rewarding industry to work in, um, but it's, that's because I love it. Um, I love what I do. I love working with the agencies I work with. I think you need to love it. You need to, you need to feel it. You need to live it. And if, if that's not what you want to do, then don't be in the industry.